Hello everyone and welcome back. Now this story is about eight days old at the moment, but it's still very relevant on this regulatory Tuesday as we discuss government overreach. You can see here by the title, uh, Governor Brown signs DACA bills at Salem's May Day rally. So now this was on May 1st when the communists and the workers parties and everybody were protesting in all the major cities. The Oregon state governor, Governor Kate Brown, signed two bills into law. One was House Bill 4111 here in Oregon, which allowed illegal aliens who were on who had originally received a license under some sort of status to receive licenses again in a state where we have motor voter registration and vote by mail. And the other one that she signed was Senate Bill 1563, which makes it possible for students who are here illegally to gain in-state tuition with or without a federal DACA program. Now, both of these are basically DACA light and are more of the same push of cultural Marxism and the La Raza movement to take over the West Coast. Now, here's the deal. She didn't have the legal authority or standing to do this. She actually cannot manipulate federal immigration law. And I would not be surprised if this is such an overreach that it causes a constitutional issue. But these are the constitutional crises being created in our country. Not anything President Trump has done. So far, President Trump has done nothing to create a constitutional crisis. It's things like this that do where you've got a state dictating that, no, these laws are unjust and we're going to do it this way, even though the state doesn't have the authority under the Constitution to do that. And this lady, Governor Kate Brown, is one of the major culprits. <laughs> now, you can see in this image from the event that she's surrounded by illegal immigrant activists. So how is this not a conflict of interest? How are these people even being allowed this close to the governor of a state in the union to sign these things? I mean, we don't even know who these people are. Americans get scrubbed pretty heavily if they're going to go meet major politicians. There is serious armed security. But in this instance, it doesn't look like that's the situation. So what's the difference? What makes these non-law-abiding individuals more trustworthy than the law-abiding individuals? And that's part of the problem. You see, what they're doing is they're trying to create multiple different standards of determinances. And we can't have multiple standards of determinances in a rule by law. Because this is a nation and a rule by law nation at that, because we don't have an integrated cultural history or background, we have to all follow the same laws. This equality of outcome thing doesn't work if we're going to maintain a nation. Because realistically, we are far too different and divergent. And that's not a bad thing. But when you've got this kind of stuff going on, this is not acceptable. You can't have two different standards by determining where people should be. Either it's legal or it's not legal. You can't have these gray zones keep being created. And the longer we allow politicians like Governor Kate Brown to create these gray zones, the more chaos and turmoil we invite into our nation. Well, I want to thank you all again for joining me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe or thumbs up and subscribe on BitChute. Also, don't forget you can join me at my other social media sites down below. I am leaving a link in the description to the uh, News Channel 21 KTV uh, who published this story so that you can see it. Uh, I really don't like listening to them because they are extremely left-leaning because they're down in Bend. And they have a serious left bent, but, you know, at least you can get the news story. Thank you all, and have yourselves a great day.